Hello and welcome everybody. This is Kogus coming at you with another video for Star Wars The Old Republic. Today we're taking a look at the Juggernaut PTS on 11-13-2021, November 13th in the year 2021. Uh, the devs just announced that they're going to be doing a live stream next week and we are going to see what's going on there. But we have a lot of new things to take a look at and changes for the juggernaut first off we have oh i'm looking at vengeance specifically in this video we have quite a bit of changes here in our skill tree so we're going to take a look at this and then we're going to see how everything is working and see all the choices all the changes that the devs have made some good some not so good and some bugs mm, the only good bug is a dead bug Quote from one of my favorite movies. Okay, so let's get back at this. All right, so at level one, we have Vengeance. Okay, cool. We get Force Scream, Draining Scream, sorry. Uh, Shatter finishes the active cooldown of Ravage. Okay, that's not any different. All right, we have Shatter ability at 23. Channels the Force into your lightsaber and crushes your target under its weight. All right, so that this move is, is one we've had. Um... This guy is new. Blood Rage. This used to be in Rage. Explodes your bleeds on all targets within 10 meters of you, dealing a significant amount of damage and generates 6 Rage. Um, well, I'm a little confused. This is the only one that has 2 on it, and it's got a little white arrow that goes here. But when I come down here, I read in Rage, it, or Blood Rage, sorry, it says the exact same thing as this guy. I try to click on it. Mm, I would imagine that, you know, this has a little white line that goes up to, to major fracture or to whatever you pick up here to the next line. Um, or if this is just a passive, but if it was a passive, it'd be over here. I'm, I'm very confused by this <laughs> blood rage. Um, so just so that I can read that again, explode all your bleeds on all targets within 10 meters. Okay. So why don't I just throw up a bleed? Or two, so I'm gonna build up all my rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, rage is build. I'm gonna do one bleed, two bleed, ah, 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 and in rage, blood rage. Oh, my blades were still ticking. Okay, um, blood rage. Uh, it sounds in theory like it'd be very cool. Don't know if it. Don't think it's working right. So, uh, TBD it sounds like a cool ability. Honestly, I'm very excited about that. All right, so level 27, we get our first pick between the three. Um, branding burst kills a target with a direct, killing a target with a direct burn damage while affected by plasma brand causes it to explode, hitting nearby targets. And that sounds like a really cool ability for regs or big mobs of fights, uh, regs, flashpoints, something like that, where you, where you want to see big explosions. Okay. Major Fracture increases the initial damage of Shatter and reduces his cooldown by two seconds. That is a fantastic ability. I love it. Shatter is going to be one of your main hits. Love it. All right. Uh, deep Cuts. While Shatter is on a target, the crit chances of all your bleed attacks on that target is increased by 10%. So let's see how that's going to help out with our critical rating and see how the gearing is going to go out. Uh, I'm a really big fan of these two abilities. Uh, I might go with Major Fractures just because it's a guaranteed cooldown on two-second cooldown faster on the Shatter. Brings it down much faster almost. Oh, man. It's going to be beautiful. I think I might go with Major Fracture. We'll see, though, with the expansion how it goes. All right, level 35, Projected Scream. Force Scream does damage to additional enemies. In a cone in front and slows them by 50% for 6 seconds. I like this. It's not terrible. Not great. Um, let's see if it actually throws a slow on my war zone. Dummy. All right. Let's do this. Enrage. And then can I... Do I have to combat with this guy? All right. Insufficient rage. What do you mean I've got insufficient rage? Okay. Now I have insufficient rage. All right. Nine. Look at that. Slowed. Okay, so that's working. That's cool. And it's a draining scream bleed. Fantastic. All right, let's see what's next under there. Overwhelm slashes. Ravage immobilizes a target for three seconds and generates one rage. Yeah, we've seen that. That's on the first tier right now. Nothing different there. Sweeping slash. So we don't have our sweeping slash ability. 
we have to spec into it. Uh, not a big fan, Oop. but um, probably won't go into that unless I need that for lots of mobs in either PvE or uh, flashpoints, raids. Um, highly un probably not really needed as a juggernaut, so I'm not sure I'm going to go with that. So I might go with the Force Scream on this guy. Level 39, we got Impale. Oh, the juicy Impale. This is our biggest hitting hit as a juggernaut. I love it. It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, we also got Bloodbath Smash and Vengeful Smash. Spread your bleeds to all targets. If at least one of the targets is already affected by a bleed, in addition, Sweeping Slash does 25% more damage to bleeding targets. So this is going to affect Sweeping Slash. I don't know why they wanted to split the 25% boost because they're both right there. It doesn't make sense to, sp to split those two up. But hey, moving on. I'm not even going to worry about Sweeping Slash. Um, let's see. At level 43, Impale causes a target to bleed. Oh, yes. More damage, please. All right. And here we go. Beat down on the target for 45 second beat downs. It takes 5% more damage from melee attacks. Love it. So your damage does more damage. All right, then we got skewering, skew, skew, skewering strike. Man, pronunciation is hard. Leaps to the target, impales it for 23,689 23, uh, to 25,788. So this is going to be uh, dependent on the amount of dam what kind of gear you have for the damage, and immobilizes them for three seconds. All right, cool. So actually, oh, um. This, this might be one of those things that uh, if I select it, it says Skewering Strike. If I move it around, it still says Skewering Strike. Okay. Uh, we'll see what happens there. All right. Um, so I actually want to see this. Is Skewering Strike working on its own? All right. Uh, let me. Can I, should I do that? Okay. Because I used Impale earlier. I all right, so am I over here? Oh, there it is. Skewering strike. And the, the blood rage didn't generate any extra rage. I don't know what's... Uh, okay. Okay. That would explain why I didn't have enough rage earlier when I tried to do the force scream. Um, if I click off of that, uh, it still says skewering strike. I'm just trying to click off of this guy. Bleeding offense. Impale does additional damage. Critical bleed damage when it hits, and Impale's critical hit chance increased by 20%. So instead of getting this root, you might get this bleeding offense. That's kind of like the um, the mini leap that other classes get. But it does look like it's a little buggy. Um, it's not working right. So can't really... Once I've picked Skewering Strike, it looks like it stays on it. So can't really test that out. Okay, last one in this in this one. Bleeding Pommel Impale does 10% additional damage and generates one rage for each of your periodic bleeds effects on the target it hits. Wow. This is going to be a hard pick. These are all really cool picks. You got a new one. You've got damage increase by for Impale and then a damage increase for all the other abilities. Um, I'm going to have to defer to the Theory Crafters to find out which one of these three is probably the best. This might be the best for PvP. These guys might be dependent on your gear. Um, you know, don't know what's going on. I just felt like I just said gear very strangely, so I want to say it again. All right, so moving on, level 47. We still got a lot to cover here. Blood Rage. Uh, blood Rage no longer generates rage. Instead, activating Blood Rage generates grants blood rights, increasing the critical hits of all your internal bleeds by 10% and generates one rage each time your critical hit with an internal bleed affects for 10 seconds. All right, so that would explain it. Did I have that one selected? All right, I just selected, uh, let's go with Furious Power. Let's get Furious Power back. I thought we got rid of this guy. thought we were done with Furious Power. All right, let's see. All right, so that's kind of a big bug right now is that once you click an ability, um, it, it kind of stays there. There's no recommit to skill trees. Interesting. Okay, so can't really test that one. Moving on to the next one. Critically hits. Bloodbound critically hit 
winning, hitting sorry, with a blood effect reduces the cooldown of your blood rage by one second. Blood rage purges movement and pairing effects. Oh, beautiful. Like it. Um, don't know if I'll take it. Don't know if I'll take either one of these. I might default back to Furious Power. I'm going to have to, again, defer to the theory crafters and find out what they find out and what people find as a very strong thing. All right, Brawn, Force grants, uh, force Charge grants Brawn, providing immunity. Yeah, that's beautiful. Love it. Uh, for four seconds, this is a 20% damage reduction. That's a little shield. Um, right there, that shield symbol. I was looking for it over my head. Fun fact, it used to go over to your head, I think. All right. Hugh is our what our ability is at 51. No big change there. Uh, 60, Savagery, Shatter, Impale, Hue, and Vengeful Slam increase the critical chances of your next Force Green by 50%. Stacks up to twice. Yep, that's nothing different, nothing new. All right, so these are some abilities we are used to seeing. Unyielding, you generate four rage when stunned. Immobilizer put to sleep or knocked around. We know that one. Warmonger, getting attacked, reduces the active cooldown of Force Charge by one second. These effects cannot occur more than every 1.5 seconds. We know that guy. Extended Rarg. Uh, increases the range of Force Scream to 30 meters. All right. This has never been one I've been a fan of, but the Force Scream deals redu reduced damage beyond 10 meters. Additionally, Force Push deals 20% more damage and grants Extended Roar, allowing your next Force Scream to deal full damage regardless of the distance from the target. Uh, unfortunately, Force Push is on a pretty long cooldown. Yeah, it's almost on a... On a, on a minute cooldown so i'm not a big fan so i wonder if i can do this and i can do this um uh, and then i like i said earlier a lot of these abilities have been buggy but it'd be really cool let me get these let me get the two stacks of four scream so i'm gonna force push and then i want to force scream like what is it oh, past 10 meters uh it doesn't do the slow uh don't know if that's bugged or not but That'd be kind of cool if that if this four scream, um, and in, in a cone in front and slows them by fifty percent. So it doesn't say the distance of the cone. That's that's kind of uh, we need to know what the distance is for this cone. Um, for that, you know, is it going to be the full thirty? <laughs> it doesn't make sense for it to be the full thirty meters. Um, so if it's not the full thirty meters, these two don't really stack. Um, at level 60 and 35, I'm not really, not probably going to take the level 61. I'll probably keep sticking with the Warmonker. Vengeful Slam, very, replaces our slam. No real reason to go back over that. All right, level 68, we get War Master. Force Charge grants Unstoppable, grants immunity to movement and pairing effects, and effects that push or pull you around for four seconds. It's really good to for regs to stack with brawn. Uh, we get hardened defense or we get payback. Um, not really happy about payback being on this list, to be honest. Um, earlier in when they were talking, when the devs were talking about the expansion, they said when you choose abilities, you get the you get their upgrade uh, version of whatever it is. Uh, payback is an ability that is uh, on a cooldown of a mi two minutes on its own. And it looks like that's bugged anyway. So um, kind of want that integrated into the class. Kind of might break the class because people complain about that other classes don't have that utility or don't get to spec into it or that. Um, I'd say just put it on a minute and 30 cooldown. Why not? Uh, it shouldn't necessarily be a utility. All right. So then our passive that we get is Destroyer increases damage dealt by bleeding effects. By 15%, in addition, your Ravage and Bleed Damage have a 30% chance to trigger Destroyer, which finishes the cooldown of Hue and makes your next Hue consume no Rage and un unusable on a target with any health level. This effect cannot occur more than once every 20 seconds. I believe this was actually something you have to spec into um, on the PTS, so I actually really like that. That's not bad at all. All right. Moving on to the last two tiers. Oh, my heart is breaking. Oh, it's sinking. All right, so let's let's go over this. Uh, the passive over here, we'll just go ahead and say Gushing Veins increases the critical chance of Shatter, Vengeful Slam, and Bleeding Effects by 10%. Hey, um, 
interesting combination of shatter and slam. So if increases the critical chance of of shatter, one of these guys down here, which one was it? Reduces the cooldown of shatter by something. Um, let's see. Where was it? <laughs> one of these abilities down here we read earlier uh, reduces the shatter cooldown. By two seconds, I thought. So, let's see. Uh, do 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 do. Ah, okay, it's all the way down here by twenty-seven. So, okay, so that's okay. So another ten percent increased damage from that. All right, that works. Um, and then we have the choice between. So they gave us endure pain. Um. I literally just made a video about how this is probably one of the uh, one of the utilities that needs rework um, or abilities that just needs rework. Uh, and you can see that whenever your health goes, whenever that this timer goes away and your sub 30 percent health just drops you to like nothing and then you die from a dot. So not exactly the best. Um, many times have people died from endure pain wearing off. So. Not the biggest fan of Endure Pain. I think the only thing they added was that it cleanses uh, back in, in several expansions ago as a utility that you could take. Um, so, ugh. so instead, they gave us the option of Saber Reflect, Intimidating Roar, and Mad Dash. I feel like just the devs just don't want to give us good, strong abilities. These are all things that I use to try to escape. I, I use Intimidating Roar to try to escape somebody who's just bursting me down. Uh, I use Mad Dash to just kite. And Saber Reflect, if a, if a person's smart, they won't hit me through Saber Reflect with their biggest hitting hits. Um, not exactly the best of three choices. I honestly, please, please just get rid of Endure Pain. Give me Intimidating Roar and let me pick one of these two. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I of the two of the three abilities went earlier in the PTS build when Endure Pain was on this list. I was just like, don't give me Endure Pain. I, I'll pick anything but Endure Pain. Give me two out of the three. I don't want Endure Pain. And they give us Endure Pain. Um, devs really just don't want us to deal with Mad Dash or Saber Reflect. It's I appreciate that they listened a little bit and were like, well, we'll give you Endure Pain, but. Out of the three, Endure Pain is the weakest, and I feel like they, they're they saying, well, we listened, and we gave you the weakest one, right? Without, I don't know if they really tested it out or not. Um, just doesn't make sense. Mad Dash, Mad Dash is on a 35-second cooldown, and Operative Roll is on an 8-second cooldown, and you get two stacks of them. They both negate 100% damage, and... It, it just doesn't make sense. So why does one class roll do so much and Mad Dash, which does damage? I mean, that's about the only difference. I would much rather give... Can I get a Mad Dash on an eight-second cooldown, two stacks? Is that going to... I think that would be fair. Give me that choice. I'd rather have that choice than these other two. Um, yeah. Uh, not exactly... A fan of tier 73. Don't know which one I would take, in all honesty. These all have long cooldowns. Uh, you know, a 35 second cooldown, 55 second cooldown, one minute cooldown. Not really, not really a fun choice. Um, PVEers are gonna take uh Saber Reflect for obvious reasons on uh abilities that they can reflect for raids or um anything like that. Mad Dash for anybody who wants to get things done quickly, but Intimidating Roar, I'm not too sure when that's going to be useful because it's really, unless you know when to use it, you don't think it's a useful move. All right, so, yay. Level tier 73 is still a, still needs work. Um, and now we're going over to tier 78. Blood Master. For each of your bleeding effects active on an enemy target, you deal 5% more damage, up to a maximum of 15 damage, more bleed damage, with while Shatter, Draining Scream, and Eviscerate are each bleeding on the target. Fantastic. Um, it's a passive. We've had that for a while. Through Passion, they gave us, uh, reduces the cool cooldown of Enraged Defense. 
Okay, does that mean I still have enraged defense up here? Okay, so we still have enraged defense. All right, so we have enraged defense on a minute and a half cooldown. We have crushing fist um, for the immortal discipline. Smash slows the target. It damages down by 60% for 10 seconds. For Vengeance and Rage, Discipline, Smash, and Vengeful Slam, Sunder the target. They do damage for 45 seconds. Sundering targets have their armor rating decreased by 20%. Honestly, this utility hasn't been changed in a while. This utility hasn't really... I, I don't... I rarely take this. Um, maybe maybe in a raid if I, if I need it. Uh, not really useful, not really needed. It's an easy choice. And then we have finally pulled hatred. Whenever your movement is impaired, you gain 10% damage bonus to your next ability that consumes rage. His effect can stack up to five times and last 15 seconds. So that's interesting. Pulled hatred and through passion, they used to be they're separated currently on the live server. Now you have to pick the, between the two. Um, eh. This is my response. Tier 73 and tier 78. Still still interesting. Um, I would love to be able to actually test some of this stuff. The problem is that it's not all working properly. So this is, again, just an overview video. Just taking a look at things. Uh, you know, I appreciate that the devs are listening and doing some kind of rework. Um, but the Saber Reflect Mad Dash on the same tier with them being over 30 second defensive cooldowns um or utilities right because i would say intimidating roar and man dash are definitely much more utility than a straight defensive cooldown like saber reflex people don't use mad dash um for the damage they use it to run to kite at least in my experience so it really mad dash these these this tier 73 choice is still probably the worst choice. Um, definitely still needs some looking at. Um, however, some of these other things look really exciting. I really want to see how skewering does. Um, if somebody picks increases the what is it? Um, reduces its cooldown. So if I take the skewering strike, and and this guy the major fracture does that reduce the cooldown of skewering strike? I would love to see that. Because Skewering Strike is... It looks like it might. I'm not too sure because, well, it's bugged. <laughs> so if it if it does, it'd be interesting to see um, how that works out. I would love to do a full-on test of this for everybody, for myself. But I cannot. And so I must defer to the Theory Crafters when everything gets released to see what is going to be the best. I know I'm going to be playing around quite a bit and... We'll see how everything goes. Um, you're definitely going to be taking different utilities for PvE and even different utilities between PvP if you're going to be doing um, whatever whatever you're going for. If you're going for objectives on some games, um, Hotball, you might not take everything. You might, you're might you definitely going to change those up from Voidstar um, and from Hypergate. There's some definitely interesting choices. Um, just... We're not, they're, they're a bit bugged out for juggernauts, but that is it for this video. It is a 23 minute video and we barely got to see any action, but I appreciate you guys, your time, your guys' time. Bleh, I just woke up. It, it, it's early for me. So you guys all have a wonderful day. Take it easy and I'll see you next time.